The history of transport matches the evolution of the engine and the associated driving systems. These days, saving energy and reducing polluting emissions are the main objectives of research. A new challenge to make more cost-efficient engines has been launched in Europe. How does this technology work and how will it integrate in our daily lives? A fleet of a new generation of hybrid vehicles made in Europe will arrive in five different segments to the automotive market in the next few years. Hybrid vehicles combine an internal combustion engine and an electric motor that assists the conventional engine, allowing the increase of fuel efficiency and the reduction of CO2 emissions. Hybrid vehicles um, are the next step in the move towards a low emission mobility in Europe. So the key points in this project are the collaboration between light-duty vehicle manufacturers and heavy-duty vehicle manufacturers. We work on the standardization of hybrid electric components, making them more easy and more uh, cost-effective uh, to integrate. The EcoChamps consortium consists of 25 partners from eight European countries, vehicle manufacturers, component suppliers and research institutes. Their work has been focusing on a high level of standardization of the components and synergies among the different vehicle types. Thanks to the use of large-scale produced components, this technology will help to reduce the extra cost of hybridization by two. We hope to be able to have a massive diffusion and contribute to the reduction of CO2 emissions. The main challenges for this EU-funded project are the improvement of engine efficiency up to 20% and the reduction of costs of hybrid vehicles, passenger cars and also commercial vehicles, which are the most complicated to adapt. Here with this heavy-duty truck, we typically have a load of 40, 50 tons and we have a mileage of 1.6 million kilometers. And the requirements on the components are much higher. And to get the components out of the passenger car industry and put it in this heavy-duty application, yeah, that's a, that's a tough challenge. One of the principles of the hybrid system is related to the possible recovery of mechanical energy in order to produce electricity. With this example, for instance, it happens by exploiting the braking system. This new truck is powered by diesel and when braking it produces and recovers electricity in the battery. This electricity will help the engine to work in a hybrid way or in full electric mode, in particular when driving in a city centre. This truck driver has the opportunity to switch the commercial vehicle driving system from hybrid to electric, a feature which is particularly suitable for urban driving. This vehicle's uniqueness is that it can work in hybrid mode if you're driving on extra urban roads and motorways or in full electric mode if you're using it in a city centre which may have areas limited to traffic. In zone a traffico limitato. Hybrid vehicle diffusion is still relatively low in Europe, but the forecasts are quite promising for this sector, which is expected to be boosted by more eco-sustainable policies and the reduction of the costs of batteries and production.